Hi, my name is Judith Sullivan and I'm talking to body workers today. I work with the entire body, but every now and then you run into a shoulder that just is a problem. After I've done everything that I know to do and it's still not solving anything, that's including working with the liver, I discovered that if I pay attention to all of the different motions that the scapula has and hold it in that position, that it will make these micro motions and readjust itself. So this is the flat of the scapula. It's, it's such a complicated little bone. Here you have the acromion process right here. Here's the spine. And here's the coracoid process that actually comes forward. It's anterior. When I'm working with someone, I have one hand on the flat of the scapula and the other hand is touching both the acromion and the coracoid processes. Now I'm going to move to the other end of the table and show you the position that I'm in when I work and then I'm going to show you what it's like when you're working on a person. So, my hand is on the back of the scapula. The person is lying on their back. My other hand is on the acromion process and then the coracoid process. I'm feeling the different motions. Because it's three-dimensional, it's going to have a motion like a pendulum in the frontal plane. It's going to have a rolling motion and it's also going to have an, a door opening motion and closing. And those are in the other two planes of the body. So when you're holding all of these three planes, the whole bone can feel itself and it will make micro adjustments. So I'm going to just move her hand out of the way. I'm going to slide my hand under her scapula so that my right hand, because it's her right shoulder, is on the flat of the scapula. My left hand is on the acromion process and also I have to feel for it, the coracoid process. Sometimes you might feel a vibration in one of these three parts of the scapula that I work with. Sometimes you'll feel some heat releasing, but it makes these micro adjustments and I have found that it's really helpful for some people who haven't been able to really resolve their shoulder pain. Alright, so I put my hand under her scapula and then I find her acromion process and I find her coracoid process. There we go. And then I just relax. I relax my hands. When my hands are tense, I can't pick up as much information. So it's really important that I keep connected, but that I relax any pressure or any tension in my hand that I do not need. Remember the bottom hand goes under the flat of the scapula. The other hand goes on the acromion process and on the coracoid process. And all you have to do is just be there and feel what happens between those three parts. Anything else just stops and it drops into your hands. Just take your hands out and you'll be finished with that shoulder blade. Remember to finish up with any other techniques to integrate that work from the shoulder into the rest of the body. Let me know how it works for you. Thanks.